Hey everybody, Kevin here with another Note Investor Tip of the Day. When it comes to buying unseasoned notes or notes that have no seasoning, so one to three months of seasoning, you're taking on some additional risk because it's not a proven note. So we also look at, in cases such as that, of course, what's the down payment? Have they bought in some, some equity? You know, did they put 25% down or did they put 2% down? Big difference in, in that. Uh, was it underwritten properly? Did they go through any qualification process? Uh, we take a look at that. And then you can get creative. You could uh, make an offer and say, here's my offer, but we won't close on it for two months, three months, whatever. And uh, I'll only close on it if those payments come in uh, successfully. Um, that way you, you lock in the deal and you get uh, a little bit more seasoning on it. Uh, that's one creative way to do it. You could also alleviate some risk by buying a partial, lower your overall position in that uh, in that note, uh, or you just weigh it out and you say, you know, based upon the state, based upon the value of the property, what I would be in on this, what my workout strategies could be. Uh, I'm not bothered by the fact that there's little seasoning uh, because it was underwritten. They have strong credit. It looks like they have good income and you go for it. So there's always a solution. There's your note investor tip of the day.